folks welcome to another video uh, so a few years ago I did a uh, video on YouTube um, how you can test your stator for Honda CB250N and uh, 400 automatic or 250 Super Dream Dream TN model and also I did a video on how, you, how I um, repair the ignition source cores on those as well um, this uh, this video is a, a bit of an extension to the testing video that I did uh, to prove that you shouldn't really always rely on ohms readings when uh, testing a stator or ignition side of a stator anyway especially on these Super Dreams um, stators and also the same ones that go on the SR500s um, I think they also fit, uh, there's another bike that it fits on, the Husqvarna no, not the Husqvarna, sorry, the um, Harley-Davidson with the Rotax engine in it, they fit the same stator on it, and there's another bike out there that uses another same stator. But anyway, this is just to prove that you shouldn't always rely on ohms readings. Um, so, yeah, what I'll do is I'll get in, get the camera up a little bit closer and show, um, with the multimeter, showing show you what uh, resistance readings we're getting on these coils that... Uh, Basically, I'll give you a false reading or a uh, false perspective on whether it's, uh, the stator is working or not. Um, but yeah, and then we'll go down to the workshop and uh, do another test on it. Okay, I'll get the camera up a, bit <coughs> a little bit closer. Right, okay, well we've got this stator that I've received from a customer. So the first thing I always do is just do, do an initial check on it. As you, know, as you would do, do ohms reading on it. So... As per the other video regarding testing, um, get a multimeter, set it to 2K, stick it on the white wire that comes in there, do a ground check on it to, to ground or the green wire. Uh, we're getting 318 ohms on that. It's a little bit low, but I've had it that before and the bike still runs fine. Um, so yeah, that's shown a bit low and uh, the high speed source cores reading 5 ohms. So again, it's showing that it's kind of okay. Um, I've tested the other two cores, pickup coils and the internal advancer. They're showing okay. Again, this one's a little bit corroded up, but I'll be blast that up and it'll still be good to go. So, um, so what we'll do is we'll get down in the workshop now. I'll stick it on a bike I've got. I've got a CB450 DX with the um, um, with two fifty with. I've got a CDI box and a flywheel to go on it, and we'll do a, a voltage reading from between the white wire ground and between the uh, the blue in ground, and we'll uh, we'll do some tests and see what readings we're getting from it. So it's really basically to prove that you shouldn't always rely on ohms reading. But anyway, we'll get down there, do the test, and we'll come back in here. Right, I've just fitted this stator on this bike. So we've got it set to ohms. I'll just do the double check again. We've got on the white wire to ground. We are showing 300, just over 300 ohms, which isn't too bad at all. Generally, it should work at that. And we've got between the blue and the white, we've got five, six ohms, which is about right. Okay, so what we're going to do now is an AC voltage check. Output on there. Set it round to... Put it on to AC. If you can see that. Let's get it balanced right. So we'll poke that in the white wire. Put it on the ground. And wind it over and see what voltage we got. Twenty-four volts. That's nowhere near enough. We should be at around the hundred volts. So it just goes to show, ohms readings aren't the be all and end all. Okay, right. We're back in the office now. So yeah, that test kind of concluded that uh, we had a serious low voltage coming out that. Uh, that white and the blue wire uh, which indicates that um, somewhere 
in here there's a problem on these source cores I'm hazarding a guess it's one of these the two low speed source cores um, these as I said in the other video these have got uh, this one's got about 1200 turns on the smaller one this one's got about 3000 4000 three and a half four thousand turns on this one now I'm suspecting what's happening is um, the wires have probably fused together somewhere in the circuit they, they rotted and uh, joined together but then there's also a um, wire that might be slightly broken so it's giving you it, it's giving you a kind of a correct reading but it's not working properly it's one fault is counteracting the other so one wire is uh, probably broken somewhere in there and there's a load of wires that are fused together uh, so which is giving you a false uh, indication of that one of those cores is faulty we're going to do all three as I normally do um, just for peace of mind so when I um, uh, come back in come back in the office I'll have it all rewound and um, but before we do that I'll do another video um, showing what voltages we're getting it out of it after it's been rewound um, with the fresh uh, ohms reading on it after it's been rewound the ohms reading will be slightly higher um, but I've actually seen them running fine on you know, an ohms reading of around about 300 odd ohms anyway so yeah without further ado um, I'll get down there and repair it and um, um, instead of me keep baffling on we'll get on a case with it okay so we put the uh, rewound stator back on there just uh, temporarily bolted it up so we've got the uh, probe in the white wire and now we've got to ground it and we're getting 379 ohms that's about 50 ohms gain on what we had before before it was rewound so now we'll do a voltage check on that white wire. Uh, let's change the meter over to volts. Okay, so now we'll crank her over and see what happens. So now we're getting over 118 volts from that now, which is good. Right, so we'll pl plug it all back in and and uh, see if it starts the bike. Okay, let's see if it starts the bike. Mission on, the choke. Happy days. <laughs> Got an old oil filter bolt here. At times I've taken flowers off of this bike. The stairs. So yeah, there you go. High speed source core was good on that one. Really clean. Yeah, rewind that. Now all I've got to do is just uh, do a final uh, impregnation on it, and it's good to go back to the customer. Okay, folks, welcome back to the office. Um, just do a final recap on that. So yeah, we rewind those low speed source cores on that stator um, and it's just proved a point that ohms reading aren't the be all and end all um, Honda specified between I think 200 and 500 ohms which is quite a wide spectrum on a on a stator we were showing th around about oh just over 300 ohms 320 ohms I think it was um, but even that proved that um, it, it, it wasn't working it was only banging out around about 20 odd volts and you need at least 80, 100 um, voltage out of it, so it's worthwhile doing a voltage check on it. So yeah, don't rely on ohms reading, um, they're not always accurate. If you get a bad ohms reading, 
you can more or less guarantee they are faulty, but a good ohms reading still doesn't mean to say they are faulty. But anyway, yeah, I was hoping to get that out to the customer yesterday. Uh, fortunately, I was called out on the fire truck and we had a, somebody shed went out and smoke, so I had to deal with that and never got back in time for the post office. So I'll get that in the post on Monday and um, yeah, they'll have that bike up and running hopefully soon. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll do another video when I get time and catch you again soon. Bye for now.